Hello students, welcome back to another video. We've been discussing waves and also more recently we've been talking about light waves or electromagnetic waves. Talking about light is a perfect segue to start talking about optics. Optics is a branch of physics where we study how light refracts through different mediums. In the last video we learned about refraction. Refraction is whenever waves or light waves travel from one medium to the next medium. So like air to water or air to glass or any of two mediums. As light travels through two different mediums, it will change speed and as a result, change direction. As a result of understanding refraction, amazing inventions have been able to come about such as glasses, telescopes, microscopes, all kinds of things in the fields of optics. Today's video, I want to focus on lenses and the two different types of lenses. Okay, so the two different types of lenses are converging lenses and diverging lenses. Converging lenses converge light while diverging lenses diverge light. So the function of the lens is in the name. Sometimes converging lenses are also called convex lenses and diverging lenses are sometimes called concave lenses. The reason for these other names is because of their shape. Converging lenses or convex lenses have a convex shape. This is what they look like. Convex lenses have a wide center and a pointy top and a bottom. Concave lenses are the opposite shape. So concave lenses have wider tops and bottoms and a more narrow center. Because of these shapes, Light will converge in this type of lens, and light will diverge in this type of lens. And you might be asking yourself, what does that mean, converge or diverge? With these pictures, I'll show you both examples of what that means. Okay, so let's say we have some light coming in to a lens. For In the case of the convex lens, or the converging lens, all of these light waves will converge to a single point, which is called the focal point. And every lens has a different focal point based on the geometry of the glass that is being used. Okay, so converging lens converge the light to a single point called a focal point. On the other hand, diverging lenses diverge the light away from this focal point. For the diverging lens, we have the light coming in on the left side, and then on the right side, these rays get directed away from the focal point. And because these lenses are symmetrical on the left and right side, if you trace back all of these rays to the other side where it came from, they will converge at the focal point on the other side of the lens. Okay, so this is a good introduction to the differences between converging and diverging lenses. Once again, converging lenses converge the light into a focal point, whereas the diverging lenses diverge the light away from that focal point. Okay, why do we use lenses? Well, lenses can have many different purposes, but generally speaking, we use lenses to create an image of an object that we can see better than just by looking at with our eyes. All right, so we use lenses and telescopes to see things that are very far away, we use lenses and microscopes to see tiny, tiny microorganisms. We use lenses in our glasses to get a better picture of what's in front of us. Okay, I'm gonna erase this stuff to talk about some different terms related to lenses. The first term I wanna talk about is magnification. Magnification is a word that we use to describe how big or small an image is compared to the original object. Okay, so there's my definition for magnification. And an equation that we use to calculate the magnification for a particular lens looks like this. Okay, so this M stands for magnification, which equals the height of the image divided by the height of the object. Okay, so if the image height is greater than the object height, then the magnification will be greater than 1, which is like a zoomed-in image. If the image height is equal to the object height, then the magnification equals 1, right, because it's the same thing divided by the same thing, which means that there's no magnification occurring. But if the magnification is less than 1, then that means that the object height is bigger than the image height, which means you're looking at a like zoomed out image of the object. Okay, now I want to talk about the types of images that can be produced from different lenses. We classify images as real or virtual and inverted or non-inverted. Okay, so real images appear whenever light waves converge. Virtual images occur whenever rays appear to diverge. Okay, we know that we have a converging lens and a diverging lens, so generally speaking, Real images will be created from converging lenses, and virtual images will be made from diverging lenses, although there are some cases where virtual images can be made from a converging lens. And I'll show you how you can find that out soon. Okay, so here I've written out that real images usually come from converging lenses, and virtual images usually come from diverging lenses. I also mentioned that images can be inverted or non-inverted. Inverted just means that the image is flipped in relation to what, how the object is. So if the object is upright, then the image that you're viewing is a flipped version. And then on the other hand, non-inverted images are whenever the image and the object are both upright. Okay, I'm going to show you something now that's called a ray diagram for a converging lens. 
Let's say I want to look at this object through this lens to create some image on the other side of the lens. And I already know the focal point of this particular converging lens. So I know how the light waves are going to converge through that focal point. And the reason I labeled the focal point on both sides as well as the distance of two times the focal length on both sides is because the relationship between the object distance, which is the distance from the lens to the object, and the distance to the focal point determines what kind of image can be created Okay, so this distance is called the object distance, as I mentioned, and we've used a DO to notate object distance. All right, now I'm going to show you how to draw the rays that converge through the lens so we can find out where the image is created. Okay, so it's hard for me to draw like perfectly straight lines here on the whiteboard, but if you draw a line going straight towards the lens, and then from the center of the lens, it goes through the focal point, and you keep on extending that line, and then that's it for that line. And then for the second line, you start at the top of the object, and then go straight through the center of the lens and then keep on extending that line through until it intersects with the other line. At the point where those two rays intersect is where your image is going to be created. So here I've drawn my image. In this case, the image is flipped and it's beyond two times the focal length on the other side and it's also magnified, which means it's bigger. Okay, because I know that these rays converged, I know that the image created here was a real image and an inverted image. If I put this object Behind 2F, it's going to make a different type of image. The image will show up in a different spot and a different size. If I put the object on 2F, same thing happens. Between 2F and F is the case I showed you here. And then there's also two other cases where the object can be on the focal point. In that case, no image is created. And the object can be placed between the focal length and the lens. And only in that case, whenever the object is between F and the lens, um, a virtual image is created behind the lens which is bigger. I'm not gonna go through every single case and draw the ray diagrams because that would take a long time, but I will provide a link in the description below to show you all the different cases and how those images are formed for a converging lens. Okay, so I covered a lot in this video. I compared converging and diverging lenses. Converging lenses usually make real images, which occur whenever rays converge, whereas diverging lenses usually create virtual images. Although there are some cases where virtual images can be made in a converging lens, but generally speaking, that's the rule. And then magnification is a term we use to describe how big or small the image is. Okay, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you. See you next time.